Welcome to Journey to the Cure. Every month, we'll sit down with scientists from the Hepatitis B Foundation and the Baruch S. Blumberg Institute to talk to you about hepatitis B and efforts to find a cure for hepatitis B. There's still a long way to go, but we're here to walk you through our journey. Hi everyone, welcome back to Journey with the Cure. We're here on our second episode, and today I have with me Dr. Sherry Cohen, the Vice President of um, Public Health at the Hepatitis B Foundation. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Good. <laughs> so last time, um, Dr. Block uh, talked to us about what hepatitis B is. Can you tell us, um, how do you know if you have hepatitis B? So if you want to know you, if you have hepatitis B, you have to get tested. Um, and so you would go to a doctor, a local clinic, or you could find um, a Hep B United Coalition partner near you, and it's a simple blood test that you mm -hmm. get. And within a couple days, you would get your blood test results, and it would tell you if you have hepatitis B. Mm -hmm. And the blood test can also tell you if you're protected and if you need the vaccine. So what are the symptoms of hepatitis B? Well, most people don't have any symptoms mm -hmm. when they have hepatitis B. About 70% don't have symptoms. Oh. When people do have symptoms, usually they mimic the flu. So they can be, um, symptoms can be fatigue or nausea or vomiting. The more severe symptoms would include jaundice, which is when people's eyes or skin turns yellow. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned um, uh, the Hep B United Coalition. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us exactly what that is? Yes, so Hepatitis B Foundation and APJO started a coalition in 2012, and the goal is to bring together people from around the country who are working in Hepatitis B in their own community. And we provide a collective voice, so we bring people together and we, we foster collaboration. So for example, people who are doing something really strategic that might be working in California, in San Francisco or San Diego, can share their best practices with someone in Ohio or Washington DC and vice versa. And um, we have coalition partners now in 27 cities and 17 states. And we all are working to get our local communities, our high risk communities tested and into care. Wow, we have such a huge reach. <laughs> it's, so the Happy United reach nationally is 6 million Asian Americans and Pacific wow. Islanders. That's a big number. <laughs> so um, how can you get tested and who should be tested for hepatitis B? Good question. Anyone who is at high risk for hepatitis B should be tested. And the CDC includes people who are high risk. Um, anyone who was born in a country where hepatitis B is endemic um, or very prevalent. Most of Asia, most of Africa, parts of South America, um, parts certainly certain parts of Europe and Australia as well. So anyone who is coming from those countries or whose parents came from those countries should be tested for Hep B. So if you were born outside the U.S. or your parents were born outside the U.S., you need to ask where your parents were born or where you were born, and then go to your doctor and let them know that you might be at high risk for Hepatitis B, and your doctor should be able to test you. Um, other people who should be tested, um, any well, all healthcare providers should be vaccinated before they start. Mm -hmm. um, but anyone who is um, living in a, a long-term care facility who might not have been vaccinated and thinks they have been exposed should be tested. Um, men who have sex with men would be considered potentially to be at high risk. Um, and people who inject drugs, if they haven't been vaccinated, should think about getting tested as well.